Father God, I just pray right now that you will help Richard. He is enslaved by heroin, Father. Thank you for uh, this food that we have. Devyam chevyam pajwa sami mati mandami. Praying for me, it's reminding myself, you know, we're here as a test from God. Allahu Akbar. I pray five times a day, you know, I try to not miss it. Have ever in your life has it felt like an inconvenience? Of course, man. You got school, you got other people's schedule that you have to follow for work. Blessed Divine, I call on you to thank you for everything you have done for me in these past few weeks. You have helped me through a hard time with anxiety. You have helped me through a hard time with school. When I pray, it reminds me that there are deities looking over me. I think the way that I personally connect to it is remembering what I'm grateful for. Because I'm really bad at gratitude otherwise. <laughs> The basic, simple stotra is Navkar Mantra. I do recite it with my daughter. I make her tell it at least twice or thrice a day. Stacia, you ready? You gonna close your eyes? I was born and raised Roman Catholic and... I was raised Catholic, but then converted to uh, Mormon. Our Heavenly Father. As far as our difference in religion, I don't think our kids really care. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Ready? Mama's gonna say Mama's a gonna say a grace too, okay? Mm. <laughs> Speaking in tongues is a gift. It's more uh, to do with having a way to pray when you don't know what to say. When you pray, I feel like I'm meditating because I completely go numb. Sometimes I feel like goosebumps. I've cried in front of the altar many times. There's just like a peace that kind of comes over you. I'll feel tingling in my shoulders, like soft TV static, but altogether I feel powerful. It feels very communal because there is that script. There's a sense of connection to everyone else who has prayed this prayer, who is praying this prayer right now. No, I'm forgetting the words. Let me see if I can pull them up on my phone. Wait. When we're praying, we're standing in front of God. It does make you nervous, but at the same time, it's my maker. And I know, you know, he loves me and I love him. Allahu Akbar. our bodies. Gio, do you think Mama and Papa's church is different? Whose church do you uh, like more? Uh, you're gonna feel bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. Be honest. It's okay. Uh, I just said Mama's. Yeah, you like Mama's? Uh-huh. Fortuna, bringer of good fortune, I ask you to help me get this job coming up. I ask God for things for myself. I ask God for things for other people. If I need a parking spot, I ask for one, and very often I get one. Recently, we have a passing. I pray for him. We open our hands up this way. It's um, I kind of see you as like a like a beggar. Oh God, please keep the family happy. The kids are um, coming up for the SAT tests. Can you please um, help them? Father God, I just pray right now that you will help Richard. He is enslaved by heroin, Father. Please reveal yourself to him. Help him to see 
So on 167th in Aurora, there's a methadone clinic. Father, they're broken inside. Pour your grace, pour your grace in them. So I ask them for whatever they need to pray for. And sometimes the prayer is to get methadone. And I do pray for that and, and God answers that prayer. I remember we were fighting because we used to fight a lot. And I started praying and I started just like bawling my eyes out. Like, I don't even know like if you're listening or if there is anybody even up there, if you can even hear me, but I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm really scared. There's so much going on in my life and I don't know what to do. And I just want everything to be okay, is what I basically hoped and wished for. Was everything okay? I mean, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> my dad expired two years back and I couldn't see him, I was here. At that time, the only thing I asked was, was could it just be for some more time that I could go visit him? Did you get that kind of thing? No. Sometimes God does say no. I think the thing that matters, though, is that we understand God has heard us. He's the one that I am, but I can't. What would you say to someone who says prayer appointments? Yeah, I just, I used to think that too, because I was so focused on that prayer had to have a physical manifestation of change to mean anything. Baruch atah Adonai. But prayer is more to change human hearts, even if it doesn't physically change anything. L'chaim. I get people saying that, like, oh, it's not real, doing spells that won't work, um, praying, there's no one actually listening. But it makes me feel less helpless. I was sitting out there on Aurora, and there was a guy who started laughing at me. He's like, what a waste of time. And I reminded him that God loves him. And he said, F you, lady, <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> Could you live without prayer? I don't think so. I thank all of you who I have called on today and who has listened. Why do you pray? Maybe Jesus wants to hear about the day. He's one that I hear that I hear. God, help us in this world and the hereafter. Amen. Amen.